What's up everybody? Welcome back to another RIM vlog. Today, we have an unboxing. First step, the unboxing. What we have here is the Valwix Cruiser stand-up paddleboard. Comes with an automatic pump, uh, comes with a little GoPro mount, comes with some straps, it comes with a waterproof bag. It doesn't appear that it comes with this girl with a nice little butt, but we have a girl with a nice butt inside. Let's unbox this, let's see how hard it is to put together. My hope is to be able to get out there on uh, in Belmont Shore, maybe even out here in Alamitos Beach. I've always wanted to do it, but now I have some incentives. So, Mookie has what is considered a torn CCL, which is what the dog version of a torn ACL would be on a human being. Since he can't really run right now until we possibly get a $6,000 surgery, at least $6,000. I'm hoping that maybe he'll be comfortable with getting on the paddle board and we can go paddle around the bay. So let's get this thing unboxed and uh, let's see what we got. Here comes what's her face to bother me. Bag that has probably the uh, thing to blow it up with. Looks like we have a leash here. One fin. So I can put it on my back and scare the kids in the water. A uh, paddle that uh, apparently you can actually put it to whatever size you want. You can do it up to 82 inches, 80, 78. That should come in handy. <laughs> then we have a waterproof bag. Directions, hate directions. This is the waterproof bag that you can uh, use here. Out of the uh, open water. Oh, uh, look at this cute little thing. Oh, it's a repair kit. And then we have the paddleboard. Oh, it smells so brand new. That, that brand new car smell. You know, I hate plastic, but that smell is something else. All right, so as you can see here, she is pretty big. I believe I got the 11 foot version. Um, as far as wide goes, I was perhaps hoping it'd be a little bit wider, but maybe when it's fully blown up and we got all the PSIs down, she'll be all right. But as far as how long she is, she's looking good. Now, truth be told, I don't love this color. However, I did get this because it had the automatic pump. And that was huge, because I didn't want to sit there in front of my car for like eight hours doing this whole thing. Like I'm uh, exploding some dynamite or something. Just wanna plug it into the car and let it blow itself up. Uh, let's look at some of the other features here and then we'll, we'll get to that part. All right, let's do it. Let's read the instructions. The Valwix inflatable stand-up paddleboard. I will leave something around my face or in the description of uh, where to find it, how much I paid, all that good stuff. And obviously at the end of this, I'm gonna try to give it some sort of a uh, review. So here's what we got. Here's what's included. Essentially, it's a GoPro mount. Definitely handy to have that. Right here, we have a secure bungee. Technically, it's a cargo area. Right here, we have a carry handle. That off there. Make it easy to plug this thing around. We have some uh, some D-rings here. If you want to tether anything down, secure some shit, maybe even if you're driving with it and you don't feel like deflating it, you can hook it up to the back of the Jeep. And then we have another D-ring right here, followed by the air valve right here. Basically just shows you how to inflate it, deflate it, right there. Gives you the recommended PSIs, all that good stuff. Come good. Adjustable paddle. It comes with a dual action electric pump. This is the waterproof bag. 
comes with a couple straps. Not bad, this is actually pretty big. Put some shoes in there, possibly even a towel, some dog toys. This one is the backpack. And that's how this beast gets stored away. Nice, convenient backpack. Here's the snap fin. That gets screwed on underneath. And here is the leash. Make sure your uh, paddle board doesn't go away into the ocean without you. That repair kit I was saying earlier. And there we have it. Now let's see how long it takes to pump this baby up. There she is. She's quite the beast, to be honest, but she's electric. Woogie, 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 woogie. Hopefully it works great. And now I have this. Put it in a cigarette holder. Got one in the front of the Jeep, got one in the back of the Jeep, and the cord actually looks like it's pretty long. Also comes with the hose for it. All right, I know I said I was gonna read the directions, but I don't feel like reading the directions. Should be pretty self-explanatory. All right, so I have it conveniently plugged in here into the, uh, the 12 volt DC outlet in the front. So it now shows that it's ready to go. So I have it set at the one bar. We gonna have this timer going. All right, it's going. It actually looked like it's filling up super quick. Super, super quick. I mean, look at it already. How many pumps? How many pumps would that have taken for me to do? Oh, this thing is great. Look at how quick this is going. It's just plugged in right in there, no problem. Uh, my guess is that this thing will just stop when it hits the one. Let's see what happens here. Look at how quick that is. This is impressive. This is super, super impressive. It's so easy. started making a weird noise that scared me. I think I could still keep going. Um, if we're being honest, I thought it would stop on its own. Kind of just kept roaring at me. I mean, it feels good right now. This feels real good right now. I mean, I guess I could probably get a little bit more. Maybe I should have read the directions. And under two minutes, by the way. That's good. I mean, it feels pretty good right now. I could definitely get a little bit more air. All right, the test now to see uh, how heavy it is carrying. Here, slides right on in there to 
secure it. And boom, just like that, you got yourself a fin in there. All right, we're gonna play a game. Nicole, guess how long it took for this thing to blow up? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Does she have the right answer? No. It took under two minutes for this thing to blow up. Just like that. Alright, so now we're gonna do the deflation process. You can do it, I think, one of two ways. You can push this thing down, and air just will start deflating. Or, plug this baby in, and switch the nozzle. Deflating the nozzle. And in theory, start to play, which it is exactly doing right now, very easily. under two minutes for this thing to deflate. Uh, this pump is the real deal. Alex, Alex. Yeah, we just became friends. All right, we've sipped up all the stuff in there. Nicole, put that on and see how she feels. better if it was like in the Jeep and I was just putting it on like that, but putting it on from the ground, it was yeah. awkward, but I can like run away from the Jeep and do it. You look like, uh, what's it called, on uh, everything all together at once, or whatever that's called, when she was on top of his head like the, uh, the yeah, like the raccoon. It looks like we got ourselves a winner so far. We haven't taken it on the water. Let's see how this pretty girl does that on the water. All right, so we're here at the beach over in Long Beach at Horny Corner. This is generally the, uh, the spot where everybody does their kayaking, their paddle boarding, all that good stuff right over in this little bay right here. So we are gonna fire up this uh, inflatable paddle board. It should take, like I said, under two minutes and then uh, I'm gonna have my little test pilot over here, give it a run and see what goes on. All right, we're filled up, let's do it. Oh, you hear that? I got gas. All right, so Nicole is gonna take this thing on a little test run. I'm gonna follow her up with the drone so uh, we can get a feel for this thing. Definitely uh, looks a little wobbly out there. We may need to inflate it a little bit more. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
when uh, there were like little baby baby waves out there. You can feel it. Oh, it's wobbly. <laughs> Yeah, it needs to be inflatable or I'm wobbling. Uh, like I said, I just gotta fill this thing up a little bit more, make it a little more sturdy so I can stand on top of it. Well, I mean, being on it right now, it feels pretty smooth. I could definitely use a little more inflation, but for the most part, it feels pretty sturdy. But chilling on it, treating it like a kayak, ain't too bad. It feels like it needs air, for sure. It looks like it's deflating. It looks like it's actually deflating? Like as we speak? No, like it just, it looks like it needs to definitely be pumped up for it. Oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can feel like with my toes that it like, like in dense, like it should be more of like a hard surface. All right, so I'm uh, I'm back down here at Bay Shore, Long Beach, California. We are gonna blow this bad boy up again. Give it another shot. Hopefully, I uh, blow it up better than I did last time because I think it was a little underinflated. Uh, try to get it to its max this time and uh, give it a whirl. So last time when I blew it up, uh, I don't think I inflated it fully. We're gonna try to go as full as we can go. Hopefully I don't blow this thing up. Crazier things have happened. All right, let's do this damn thing. Certainly it's still a little wobbly here, but uh, I'll try to make the best of it. Now imagine having one of these houses right here. How nice would that be? Wake up in the morning and say, oh, you know what, F it, I'm not gonna go on the boat. I'm gonna go on the paddleboard then come back, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go fishing, let's go on the <laughs> boat. All right, well, I've got myself a driver now. Now I just get to relax, let her do all the work. The opposite of this relationship. Oh, you cocksucker. You cocksucker. Water feels good though. So the Valwix, what can I say? Thumbs up, definitely recommend it. Super easy to blow up, uh, so long as you have a car to plug it into. It's convenient, it's just super convenient. It comes with this backpack, I'll put this on in a minute so you can see. Um, you know, it's lightweight, it's compactable, it's super easy to use. Um, I've only taken it out a few times so far, but I haven't had any issues other than my own fault of not pumping it up enough. But other than that, she's uh, everything I could have hoped for. Valwix, you done good. So if you're looking for a uh, nice, affordable, easy to use stand up paddleboard, gotta go with my uh, my boys over at Valwix. You get the thumbs up. You did good. Good product, I definitely recommend. And thanks for watching. I hope this uh, review turns out to be useful for you. Stay tuned for reviews on other shit I buy from Amazon. Until then, maybe hit the like button, maybe hit the little subscribe. Uh, 
catch you on the flip side.